In this tutorial, we are going to discover how to export images from Lightroom, how to create a time-saving preset, how to master high-resolution export settings, and also social sharing export settings. There are timestamps below, so feel free to skip around. Let's start. So there are four methods for exporting images from Lightroom. The first one is the most efficient one, which is the shortcut method. As a professional photo editor, I always use shortcuts and to export one image, you want to click on one image, for example, and then use the shortcut Command Shift A, which will open up this dialog box. And this is the fastest way. I highly encourage you to use shortcuts. I talk about this a lot in my editing course. It improves your efficiency and allows you to work faster, which is very important in photo editing. The second method is the library panel method and we are able to do that from the library panel. So for example, if you're editing one image, you are in the develop panel and you can also see that from the top bar here. So to go to the library panel, you can click on library or most efficient way, use the shortcut, which is G and that will bring you to the library panel. From here, select the image that you want to export and click on this button, which is export, which will open up the exact same dialog box that we had before. The third method is the classic file export method. So this traditional method involves simply going to file. So select one image, go to file, and then click on export, which will open up the exact same dialog box. The last method is the context menu method. So click on one image and then right click on that image and choose export export which will open up the exact same dialog box and that's it how to export multiple images or an entire catalog so for example you can always see how many images you have selected in the bar below here you can see that i only have one image selected at the moment out of 96 photos which are the photos in this collection so if i select more images holding down the shift button or with the command if I want to randomly select other images. You can see that I now have five images selected, so I can export these with one of the methods that we saw before, or um, I can just use the shortcut and see that I'm exporting five files. So you can double check here. Let's say that you want to export the entire catalog. You are going to, if you use collections and collection set, which I highly recommend, and I talk about this all the time and in depth in my course, you can click the collection set and then click command A, which is the shortcut to select all images, or you can do file select all, the traditional method. And then from here, you can export the images. So it's going to tell you how many images you are exporting, which will be 1200 images for me right now. Or if you want to only select an export, you can see export 1200 images. So just to double check. If you only want to export, for example, the portraits of the couple, which is a separate collection, it's only 96 photos, you can click on that specific collection and again, do common A and you have selected 96 images and you can export these 96 images. You can also press down comment and do the exact same thing with also another collection and then comment A, which will select all of those images, which is 331 in total. And you can export those. Um, so this is just a quick way and um, to keep things organized, I always recommend and I always use collections and collection sets how to export images in high resolution for printing or for client delivery. So again, we're going to open the export dialog box and from here, you are going to choose the location of where you want to export the photos. You can select a specific folder, uh, which I, for example, have already selected a specific folder on my hard drive, or you can just create a new subfolder on your desktop, whatever works best for you. Then uh, you're going to name the file. For example, as you can see here, this is how I usually do it. I use the letters of my clients and then I name the, the images after the catalog. So after the session, you can also add dates for best organization practices. 
and after that you're going to choose the file settings so for example for printing it's best to select jpeg and um, rgb rgb color space and you want the quality to be a hundred and make sure that limit file size 2 is not selected so once you have these four uh, options here you can move forward to the next one do not choose resize to fit um, resolution here is where you want to change the resolution for high resolution for printing or client delivery which is going to be 300 300 pixels per inch I do not use sharpen from here uh, you can add watermark if you want and then you can also decide if you want to open up Photoshop after exporting I usually leave it as do nothing and then you can click export how to export images for social sharing so the only thing that you want to change from all of the options that we set already up before is in the image sizing in here you want to check resize to fit from here, you're going to choose from this box short edge. You're going to put in 1080 pixels and you want to change the resolution, which is pixels per inch from 300 to 72 or 100. I usually do 72 and then I export for social sharing with these settings. So the last tip I want to give you is to save your export settings meaning create presets for these two high resolution and low resolution so that it will only take you a few clicks to export images in the future so to do that select add on the left side here and then give your export settings a name for example this could be social low res and then create the preset and then you can also create another one for high resolution. So change the pixels per inch and do add and do client high res or instead of client, you can do printing high res and create so now you already have these two presets and moving forward it will only take you a few clicks to export your images something very important to note is to choose which folder this export setting this preset should go into so for these two presets make sure to select a different folder so that you can always easily locate the high resolution files and the social sharing low resolution files for more tips and tutorials, you can find my free editing guide linked below, also the link to my editing course, signature sessions and all the good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!